What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. First, I want to thank you guys for all the views, subscriptions, everything that you guys have done for the channel. Excellent. Um, couldn't be happier with the way things are going. You guys are awesome. So, I'm going out here to do some bass fishing today. Some bass fishing today. Um, here behind me is an old sand plant, basically a, a quarry. But they have a big string of ponds back there that I fished probably two years ago. And we're going to try to fish them again. If I can't get back there, they've got it blocked off, which they very well might have done. There's two ponds right here in front of me that I've caught a few bass out of in the past. But I also haven't fished those in like two years. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So I'll see you guys out there. Thanks. Please. Hmm, what do I want to take? So I've only brought two rods with me. One for finesse and one for uh, moving baits. Because I'm probably going to be running at least a jerk bait, probably a crank bait, maybe a chatter bait, maybe a spinner bait. Who knows, nowadays, with the way these bass have been acting recently, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what they're, they're after, just because the last thing they were after was the finesse, and then it just kind of dropped off after that to just about nothing. Uh, Dad caught one on a jerk bait the other day, but After he caught that one, good God, like Grand Central Station out here behind me. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of everything today. So like I said, it's been quite some time since I've been out here. I know you had signs posted here saying you couldn't fish, but the place is abandoned. There's like 20 freaking ponds back there, so. This is God's country. Can't fucking just control me. Tell me what to do. So I just got down here to the first pond. Just gonna pitch around a wacky worm. See if I can't get anything to pick it up. This place has changed a lot in the past two years. A lot more vegetation in here.
I just had one come up and hit it. Take it next time, you son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, you fucking bitch. All right. So I'm gonna go out here and try and find another one of these ponds. A new one that I haven't been to yet. Uh, I'll see you guys over there. This seems like legitness. No grass out here. There we go. That's a good one. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Come here. Get up here. Yes. That's a good one. A good one. Okay, I get it. You're pissed. Yeah, baby. Okay, just let me snap a picture of you and then I'll let you go. Let's let you go. Thank you, big boy. Ready? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Piggy. Little Miss Piggy. The fuck was that? Spinner bait never fails, guys. It never ever fails. Catch your hogs all day, every day. Got another one. Just a baby. Oh, that's a pickerel. Damn pickerels. Okay, you slimy, stinky fucker. Hold still. I'm gonna get this hook out of your face. Little baby chain pickerel. They are so slimy. Here we go. Another pickerel? Yep. Show sure enough he is. Get back in there. Here we go, that's a bass. It's a decent one. Another little one pounder, one and a half pounder. Good job, thanks buddy. Boom.
Bye. So the majority of the bass that have been caught today have been sitting in these grass pockets and as I run through, they're either hitting it on one side or the other. So they're either hitting it before I hit the grass or right after, uh, which tells me that they're sitting directly in those grass pockets and they're just kind of waiting for something to cruise by and they're, then they pop out of that grass pocket and hit whatever it is. So if you can find like openings where there's two grass pockets and then cast in between them, sometimes they'll dart out of there real quick and grab whatever it is that swims past them. This grass makes for excellent cover for them. So like the, the past two weeks that we've been going out and fishing, we have not had any luck at all. They just have not been active. You could probably cast it right in front of their face and they do not give a shit about it. Um, but we just had a real low pressure system come in, kind of cooled down, cooled the water down some, I think. Uh, so they're a little bit more active, plus it's a new moon, so uh, that affects the way that they, they feed. And today is supposed to be one of the better days for fishing. See, he's got my, my wire all bent up and everything. Jesus. Ain't no wonder I didn't catch one. catching too many bass. You gotta be careful when you're fishing in lakes and ponds that have a toothed critter, toothed critter in it, like pickerel, uh, northern pike, muskie, walleye, stuff like that. If they, if they bite onto your line, you, or if they bite onto your lure, you wanna always check your line afterwards just to make sure that they didn't cause any frays or anything uh, and if they did you want to retie on like this line's a little frayed now which could be from a multitude of things it's just a good habit to keep to check that way you're not losing your lures losing fish and you just go above you know where you where your frays were and just retie on. No big deal. Always check the strength of your knots too. After retying, just to make sure. Sometimes that line slips and it doesn't line up the way that it's supposed to. And then you get knot slippage and you'll lose that lure without even catching anything it'll just fly right off there we go there's another one see just one more cast that's another good one not too shabby oh man he choked it Who's a pretty girl? Get that out of there. Getting weird. Bye. All right, maybe we'll do one more cast. <laughs> it's addicting. Catching fish is addicting. Right there in that grass pocket, like I had said. That might be a good one. We'll see. Nice little breeze just picked up. Makes it even better for spinner baits. Time to get 
to get out of here. That was fun. Wow, it lasted. like 90 90 degrees outside that went way better than I expected with the way the bites been here recently I didn't think I was gonna catch shit but the uh, the spinner bait was on fire today and then I, I went over to a different place and tried throwing some jerk baits and the uh, bandito bug and it's just I think it's the bandito bug was just too slow for him I don't know if they just weren't where I was casting the jerk bait but that should have that should have worked but uh it didn't so but that's that's it guys that was you know four bass and two pickerel that's not too bad for 90 degrees here in PA the uh, like I said the fishing has been hot garbage here for the past month maybe but I don't know pulled through today caught a few so that's good hopefully you guys enjoyed that um, if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there that way you can end the bell that way you guys can get notifications on when the new videos come out every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 o'clock new videos drop so just keep an eye open for those leave me some comments down below let me know what you guys want to see if you want to see more fishing videos then I'll try to get out and, and catch some more fish if you guys want to see more stuff like the uh, the hunting property let me know we'll do more stuff like that really it's based off what you guys want to see as long as it's within my criteria um, yeah so I'll see you guys next week thanks for coming by bye